Friends, welcome back to Alley Oop. I'm Jack. We've got some classics with us this week for our debate. Jake and Ethan returns to the stage uh, to get fiery, I guess, in, um, in another debate. This week we'll be talking about something that has come up recently. Of course, former Michigan basketball coach John Beeline has stepped down as head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, about halfway into, well, halfway into the, uh, his first season in the role. Kind of an interesting topic, uh, something that we don't really know all of what's going on, although there are a lot of stories um, about what has happened. And so the question we'll talk about tonight is what should Coach Beeline do uh, as his next step? And Ethan, we'll start with you. What do you think? Yeah, so Coach Beeline obviously has worked his way up to make it to the NBA and it ended about as poorly as it could have, not even making it like a full season. So much drama in the locker room about things that he may or may not have like said or intended. Players not really listening to him or buying into his system. And man, that dude took two looks at Andre Drummond, was like, no, I'm <laughs> out, I'm out of here. So if I'm John Beeline, I'm packing my bags and I'm moving to Florida. I'm like, I am 67 years old. I did it all. I tried, I made it to my dream. I might have failed, but I tried. I mean, he's not going to get another MBA job. I mean, it'd be pretty demeaning for him to go to a lower level college school at this point. And he's not really going to be welcome back here at Michigan for at least a few more years. Just the awkwardness it would mm -hmm. cause around Juwan Howard already, you know, in his first season. But there was so much doubt about Juwan already. So that's my take. Move to Florida. Enjoy the beach. John, thank you for everything you did. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate your, you know, respect and reverence for Papa Bilan. I also appreciate the, uh, the lob you've thrown me so I can slam dunk this alley-oop in on the show this week. Look, John Beeline, the only questionable decision that he really made was taking the Cleveland job in the first place. You can argue about whether or not he was actually ready to go to the NBA, but that is the bottom five organization in terms of their owner, Dan Gilbert, GM, Kobe Altman. You get the roster with Darius Garland and Colin Sexton, two guards who between them average about four assists a game. Well, you get I mean, a guy in Kevin Love I mean, who never wanted to be there. Seti Osman in the front court. Kevin Love and, and Andre Tristan Drummond Thompson in the front threes. court. Look, <laughs> yes, it was uh, unfortunate how things turned out, but John Beeline can still coach. I mean, he took Michigan from a team who was in despair he to a team that was a regular coach. contender for Big Ten coach. and national should titles. I think that he no. still has that passion to coach. This is not how he's going to want to go out. Whoa. He should easily step into a smaller school role where he doesn't have the pressure okay. to recruit at a high level and he can focus on doing what he does best, and that's developing players at the Imagine college this, level. Jake. Even Imagine if you offer him like an Ivy League job, I think I that he would be successful Imagine and give him a few years. But I think John Beeline should not give up coaching just yet. This okay. would be a tough way for him to okay. go out. Imagine this, dude. You're the GM of your favorite team, the Atlanta Hawks, and all of a sudden it all goes south, and you're offered an athletic director role at some crappy high school. Well, imagine that. You just roll in. You were at the peak of a profession. You had it all. And then you're out. How do you're you out. have it you're all out. with Colin Sexton, Darius Garland, and Kevin Porter as your backcourt <laughs> options? He had it all. He was in the oh, NBA. He in Cleveland, Ohio? He, no he one has it, it all in Cleveland, Ohio. All. Dude, he chose this job. He knew what he was doing, oh. and it went absolutely disastrous for him. He needs to just call it a day. First he, of all, first of all, second of all, he beat my Hawks twice, destroyed them Your both Hawks times. Are clearly, trash. He can, clearly, <laughs> he can still coach a, a little team. bit. He just beat the next up-and-coming dynasty dude, twice in dude, a season. Dude. Clearly, all he can still I, coach. My, I think no, he's going to take it to a smaller school, Ivy League, clearly, develop his players, and he'll be he back on the map coach. before clearly you know he it. He can't coach in the NBA. He's not an NBA caliber coach. He thought he was. He wanted to be. That was his dream, clearly, because he left Michigan, a school that gave him everything, treated him like family, no matter what. And he left us to go chase his dream. And it's just clear, clear as day. That man can't coach in the NBA. Oh my <laughs> he can't goodness. coach in the oh NBA. Oh my god. He, he might not have good players, but he can't coach this in the is, NBA. This, this wow. Well, the well we lost it quick. Dog. Things went off the rails quick. It's unclear whether or not they were ever on the rails. Uh, Ethan, in his return to the debate stage, was just interrupting Jake. Jake, I got to hand it to you. I was really impressed how you kept your sentences going despite Ethan's that's random talent. That's talent that's by talent. John Beeline. Oh, that's, that's talent, talent like by John David Beeline. David right right comment. Right. Let's see what you can keep going. Tell talent about like David, David DeJulius yeah. owned 19. Ethan yeah. brought some uh, good points. Jake, you definitely lost points for calling the Hawks the next great dynasty of the NBA. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, ultimately, I think you lose the most points for your lack of respect towards I have my adopted grandfather, I have Coach Beeline. I have plenty of respect as a college coach. You, the dude 
with a dumpster fire. I think you need to take your two game losing skin, and we'll see you next game. I don't think he's dumpster fire in the NBA. I don't think he's going to end up as the 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 athletic director of high school with six hundred kids in Central Kansas. One hundred percent, Jack. I agree, one hundred percent. So I'm gonna, you know, I have to pick a winner. That's the rules. So I'll pick Jake for this one. You're biased. That's my straight bias. Be sure to join us in a couple weeks. We'll be on spring break, but we'll be back in a couple weeks uh, to bring more content to you guys. Thanks for watching. John Beeline will not be back in a couple weeks.